The Warsaw Arboretum is a popular natural oasis in the heart of Warsaw. But are the hundreds of daily visitors aware of the history behind the park? We are going to investigate and present our findings in this short documentary. Warsaw at the time of the Industrial Revolution had a bustling industry making metal buckles for shoes and horse furniture. There was a need for limestone in order to make quality iron. The original site of the park was a series of lime pits and tunnels. Unfortunately, in 1835 these permanently flooded to form the lakes that we know today. Around this time the lakes began to be used for fishing, boating and ice skating in the winter. On Saturday 12th of July 1845, tragedy struck when the Mayor of Warsaw, John Hyatt Harvey, drowned in Haddington Lake whilst taking an evening swim. Adam Homer reports from Haddington Lake. In 1845, the Mayor of Warsaw decided to take a swim in one of these lakes. but he sadly drowned and his body was never recovered. And a member of the search party also drowned. It was reported that the mayor often went for a swim in the evening and he was a strong swimmer, but people think he hit his head on the rocks when he dived into the lake. The Warsaw Arboretum was officially opened on Saturday the 4th of May 1874 by Lady Hatherton. She was the wife of the park owner, Lord Hatherton. When she opened the park there was over 4,000 people cheering her on. The Arboretum opened as a private park and people had to pay two pennies for adults and one penny for children under the age of 10. Boating, swimming and skating on the lake was banned due to safety concerns. In 1887, during a particularly cold winter, Hatherton Lake froze over and skating was permitted for the cost of sixpence. The park proved to be very popular with the inhabitants of Warsaw and attendance broke all records on Whit Monday, 1888 when over 10,000 visitors attended the park. In 1889, a new bandstand was built and hosted many brass band concerts over the years. The wooden stocks in the Arboretum are very old. Originally, they were positioned at the bottom of the steps at St Matthew's Church on the High Street. The stocks also have a whipping post at the side. The people of Warsaw were punished for carrying out petty crimes by being locked in the stocks or chained to the whipping post. People in the stocks then were insulted, had rubbish, urine or even poo thrown at them by members of the passing public. There are instances where well-liked people were talked to politely, offered a blanket to keep warm and even given food. Almost every town in the country had their own set of stocks. They are no longer used as a form of punishment. I think it's a good thing that Warsaw still have theirs to keep forever. There's a special bronze statue that can be found by the main entrance that is dedicated to one of Warsaw's most famous authors, James Ball reports. Jerome Clapp Jerome was born on the 2nd of May 1859 at Belsize House Bradford Street, Warsaw. The family surname was originally Clapp, however his parents took the unusual decision to change this to Jerome. He is famous for writing the story Three Men in a Boat, which became an instant success. The story is about three friends who took their dog on holiday across the River Thames. The book is still in print now and has been featured in several TV series and films. Get out of the shot, get out of the shot. Colin Cartwright, a Warsaw resident who loved railways, took the ambitious step and built a miniature railway line at Warsaw Arboretum in 1977. 
It was over a mile along and ran on the northern boundary of the Arboretum. The remains of the platform and turntable can still be seen here, alongside the footpath and entrance to the children's play area. It was very popular and operated most weekends. It had eight miniature steam trains running along the busy track. Mrs. Carol Smith, a Warsaw resident, remembers it well. Hello Tom, yes I used to bring my two children here, George and Katie, back in 1995. We used to catch the train at this point here of the park and we used to travel about half a mile right down to the Arboretum extension. The kids used to love it, so did I. The Arboretum held the Warsaw Illuminations, a popular tourist attraction, which were held each autumn for six weeks. The first show was held in 1951, although illuminations have taken place at the park since 1875, when candles were placed in coloured jars. The last illuminations were held in 2008 with a record low attendance, making a loss of £167,000. It was then decided to scrap the event due to high costs and also damage caused to the park. The Arboretum today has changed quite a bit from when it was first opened in 1874. The park has recently undergone a major upgrade. There is now a visitor centre with a cafe and meeting rooms with an outside seating area. There are lots of sporting activities available such as skateboarding, tennis, table tennis, bowling and football. There is also a purpose-built fitness trail plus a play park for the younger visitors including a splash pad during peak seasons to keep the youngsters cool in hot weather. The Arboretum is a natural oasis with a busy town. It's a great place to go for a walk, keep fit, take your children to play or just to relax. We are very lucky to have such a wonderful place within walking distance of our town centre.